everybody RDT about to play Smackdown 2 I have no idea which route I'm gonna go this is this was one of my favorite games back when I was a kid uh, I, I was and am a big wrestling fan uh, at, this, at, at the time there was this game and I think No Mercy from Entity 4 came out a little later and while I do think No Mercy is the superior game I happen to have this for some reason. I'm not sure why, I just did. Uh, I think it was because it had the first ever Hell in a Cell, which it's not really that well done, but whatever. So we're gonna play season mode, why not? Uh, I don't really know, I don't wanna start. All right, so let's look through this here. I know the, the blue, well, this game is set for like, hmm. It's interesting, the champions are, it looks at, like, as of SummerSlam, if I had to guess. Light Heavyweight, uh, Intercontinental, I don't think it's the European champ, yeah. Al Snow's the European champ, Malenko's the Light Heavyweight, Eddie is the Intercontinental champion after he stole from China, so it's a little after SummerSlam, actually. The Hardys are the tag, title, tag champs after that, uh, Conquista, well, it was before that Conquistador and Christian thing. Lita is the women's champion, obviously, and the Rock's the world champ. And Blackman's the hardcore champ, sorry. Uh, I do know that, storyline-wise, the game is a little behind that, which you'll see in the season mode. Like, the first year of the season mode goes through real-life stories. I don't want to play as a top guy because I don't know how fun that really is, but then again, I don't want to play as a bad wrestler either because the one problem this game had, the one flaw, and it was a big one, it has obscene loading times. Obscene. And I'll, you'll see it when we play it. It'll probably be kind of boring to watch, but nothing I can do about it. So I want to make sure I'm not like I'm booked on shows. So I will probably begin, I can switch mid-season stuff, it doesn't really matter, with who's likely to be part of main events. Let's go with uh, for now we'll go with The Undertaker, my favorite wrestler, might as well. So we'll quickly show like how this game works. Oh, obviously everything's a loading screen. That is the big flaw. Everything is a loading screen. Everything. Uh, oh, I'm the number one contender. Okay, I didn't really intend for that to happen, so I might win the title right away. Um, and for the Intercontinental, you got Eddie, Val, Rikishi, Edge, and X-Pac. European is Al Snow, Saturn, the Good Father, Taz and D'Lo. Hardcore is Blackman Crash. Okay, you, you can read the screen, I'm sure. By heavyweights. Women's. Others. Skip Vince in there, but we'll work on that. Oh, and the tag title, of course. Uh, um, I feel like I should change wrestlers now. I feel kinda, I don't know what fun it will be if I, no, let, let's go back. I can move people around. You know what? I don't want to. I'm gonna start. I'm actually gonna change. I'm gonna start as Jericho. Oh, the cat. Her gimmick was like she wanted to be naked the whole time. So that should tell you. That should tell you what was bringing in the ratings back then. It worked. Can I change people right now? Yeah, I could change. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change to change Chris Jericho. So I'm in the world title hunt. Hopefully this doesn't lead to the loading screen. So there's a lot of characters to unlock in this game, which I'm kind of excited for, so. Let's do it. Bam, let's go. This is April. Raw. So we'll probably do one show. We got a on the card. Ooh, I'm fighting Benoit and Rikishi is a ref. Interesting. So here's the big flaw of this game. As you'll see quickly. I actually got through the whole game, but oh, there's like random angles too, which for each uh, is Lita. 
For each random angle, there's a loading screen. But let's see what the angle is. So we're going to start Chris Jericho's path to the World Championship. It's Bubba Ray Dudley. It's quite the face. Bubba Ray Dudley is in the house. What a way to start. Oh, it's our American hero, Kurt Angle. Was he in the number one? I don't remember seeing him in the... Maybe there was more people in the world title hunt, and I wasn't, I wasn't looking. So, like, what happens here is they simulate every match. So this is for the European title. Will Al Snow lose the belt? He did. Perry Saturn is the new champ. Uh, we got Gangrel versus Taz. So it's like, yeah, Gangrel job the Taz right there. No shock. Uh-oh, something's happening now. Got too cool. These loading screens eventually do get a little boring. But I enjoy them for now, so. I was told I would have a special match tonight. Well, I'm here. Who's my opponent? Uh-oh, X-Pac is, uh... Trying to find out what's going on. Looks like they're not going to find out. No, it's not me, that's for sure. Speaking of X-Pac, X-Pac's in the, in the raw road doggy dog. We got S.A. Rios against Taka Mishinoku. I'm pretty sure this is a contender for the Light Heavyweight Championship like rankings or whatever the case. The Rio speeds Mishinoku. You got Test and Test and the Undertaker. Oh no. Don't 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 oh my gosh. I thought Taker was gonna lose. Oh tag titles on the line here. We got the Hardys and Too Cool for the belts. It's a big raw. European title change. We got a tag title match. So there was a big main event too. Oh, Hardy's retained the belts. Uh oh, yeah, I figured the big angle they're building to is X-Pox Angle and Bubba Ray Dudley, which is an odd trio, but. Let's see what we're gonna get here. It's for Chris Jericho. Oh. I guess, I guess too cool to turn heel. You know, I remember back, like, I thought these graphics were, like, the best of all time. It's kind of crazy how much gaming has come along in 14 years. All right, here comes the big. It's probably going to be an angle here. And we have our match, which is very exciting. X-Pac, Angle, and Bubba Ray Dudley. Weird match. And they gave Bubba the win. So we got... Um, taking on Benoit. And the ref is Rikishi. Let's see what the rules are. Short standard. No give up. What? I guess the uh, referee can't figure out. To know that pro that's good to know that I probably would have been trying to uh, make Benoit submit the whole time. All right, let's do it. Get the lovely Trish Stratus. I did like the full. Uh, full screen Titan Trons. That was really cool when I was a kid too. Here we go. From Winnipeg, Manitoba. 227 pounds. Chris Jericho. His opponent, unfortunately. We were just, we were to start, but I mean, since 2000. But 
for Edmonton, Alberta. 230 pounds, maybe? Chris Benoit. And we're going to see Rikishi with a referee shirt on. Here he comes. Oh my gosh. You know, I, they turned Rikishi heel in real life. Which was, uh, look, look, look at his shirt. They're like, what, what's going on there? Yeah, Rikishi in a ref shirt. All right, let's see if we can uh, take down the Crippler. I did do one practice match before this, so I don't know how this is going to go. But we'll see, right? Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, spinning heel kick right off the bat. Drop kick. All right. I'm facing the wrong way. Oh my gosh, I definitely hit a button there. That, uh, I see, okay. I just learned how to switch against, the kids I'm in a tag match. I guess that would help. Come on, oh, snap suplex by Benoit there. I don't think I'm good at this game, so I will. I haven't played in a long time either. Oh, big slam from Benoit. Come on. Gotta be the Ayatollah of Rock and Roller here. Oh, wow, what a miss. Right there. How did I miss? Come on. Oof. Rolling Germans is not good. I hate that I keep rolling. And we got a. Uh, Nice power bomb! Wow. Weird how the kick got got reversed into a clothesline attempt. Kind of counter. He's kicking. He's killing me here. Oh, I have that. Oh wow! He's both his drop kicks. It's a heck of a spot. Oh, snaps the books again. All right, got a clothesline. Ah, that's a pin. It's good to know. I'm gonna try to win with that. Neck breaker. Ouch. He's trying to be. He's trying to work on. Oh, come on! Count out, really? Oh, getting killed here. I don't know how to. Do oh, he's got a special. Jeez. Come on. Okay, arm breaker. Nicely done. Okay, I really didn't want to. Oh, man. I, I really am not good at getting the, the range of motion here. I need to get in order to. Oh. Oh wow, Rikishi fast counted me. You see that? Nice drop kick. Uh, I can't get that countering thing going. Oh, another neck breaker. Yikes. Not going well for Jericho here on the first show. He's killing me. He already has a special and everything. But luckily, his special is submission, so he might not. I haven't countered anything from him. Oh my gosh. I'm in the ropes. I'm in the ropes. What? Okay, luckily. Well, unfortunately, my finisher is also. Oh man, I haven't hit that kick once yet. Oh no. Come on. Come on. No counter? Oh man. It's killing me here. I won the first match. Oh, it's a pin. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Wow, we just jobbed to a Northern Lights suplex in three minutes. Man, not a good start there.
Not a good start. Ah, oh, it's Jericho. Wow, I just got killed there. Weird, I did win the first match I played of this. I played um, an Undertaker Kane trial match, and I even dealt with interference. He fast counted me, though, I feel. Anyway, Triple H and Kane in the main event. And then we'll see what next week brings. Tough, tough way to... Tough first show. Uh, how do I save here? Okay, I just want to make sure. It's kind of practice saving. All right, next video, hopefully something more entertaining will happen than me just getting killed by Benoit. That was really the wrong choice of words. Thanks for watching, everyone.